We've spent the time until now mostly talking about mantle clocks and shelf clocks, which are just as important. And probably uh, these days I've been selling more wall clocks than mantle clocks. The, um, there were really distinctions between what was going to hang in your home and what was going to hang in an office or a public or a public space. And a lot of the truly collectible clocks now were originally designed for commercial places, for schools, for banks, for post offices, for railroad stations. This is an example, certainly, of one that originally was not intended to hang in anyone's home. And back in Victorian days or even later when this clock was made, uh, no one would uh, think that this would be an appropriate clock to hang in a, uh, in a, in a part of your house. But uh, this is a... Uh, a uh, turn of the century regulator clock that um, was made by Little and Eastman, a small uh, company, but there were other big companies making these same kinds of wall clocks at the time. We'll also look at, at the types of wall clocks that maybe you would expect to see more in homes than in offices like this one.